Another important procedure in connection management is closing a connection. This process is done by using FIN and ACK bits and is independent for each side of the connection. The side of the connection that wants to close the connection sets the FIN bit. At this time, the other side might still have data to send, which will continue from the side that still has data. When the connection is ready to close from the other side as well, the FIN segment from the second side could be sent to wrap up the side of the connection as well. The FIN exchanges are separate for two sides, but they could be exchanged simultaneously as well. Let's take a look at a scenario where a client wants to close the connection. The client sets the FIN bit and sends the closing segment. Upon sending this segment, it goes to FIN wait one state and will no longer be able to send data. However, it still can receive data. The server receives the FIN segment. It knows it will no longer receive data from the client, but it might still have data to send. It will enter close wait a state and keep sending data if it has data to send while keeping the same ACK sequence number from the client and increasing its side of the sequence number with data. This is without setting the FIN bit for its side. The client, upon receipt of first of such segments, enters FIN wait 2. When the server data is finished, on the server side, it also sets the FIN bit and sends the last segment and enters the last ACK state. None of the sides can send data at this stage and both sides are waiting for connection closure. The client that has received the final segment with FIN bit goes to timed wait state. It sends the final acknowledgement and closes its side of the connection after two times the segment lifetime. This wait is the safety margin for the possibility of lost final ACK. The server receives the last ACK and closes the connection. 